can you remove and replace your regulator underwater while scuba diving? Hi all you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I'm Mark, a former dive instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any dive questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use this Ask Mark hashtag in your comment to get it featured in an up and coming video. I've been a little caught up recently, uh, reviewing some, uh, some dive torches from Orca Torch. Um, so, uh, so I haven't been doing quite as many uh, ask marks as I used to. Uh, so I thought I'd try and at least do one. And um, yeah, it's quite an interesting one from uh, from Alan Williams about removing and replacing your regulator underwater. So Alan says, hey, I was recently watching a film on Netflix about a dive and a trapped diver, uh, in brackets, the dive. My question is, can you actually remove your regulator underwater to place it onto a new cylinder? So yeah, so the movie is called The Dive. Um, I've seen the clip of, uh, of them swapping the, uh, the cylinder over. Uh, if I can manage to get it, I'll, uh, I'll put it up now so that you guys can, uh, can watch it too. So the premise is is that there are there are two divers they're on a dive and one of them gets trucked trucked trapped under a boulder um, they can still breathe and whatnot they just can't move their leg and of course you've got limited air supply uh, the other diver returns to the surface gets a spare cylinder but just a spare cylinder only and then they need to swap over that regulator under water can it be done yes it's not great for your regulator uh, but it can certainly be done. And it is a skill that you do run on some, um, uh, some courses. Uh, but yeah, the, the main aspect is, is that in an emergency, absolutely green light, just do it to get any kind of air. Um, but as soon as you undo that, there's gonna be a small amount of water that's gonna penetrate into your first stage which is bad for your regulator, mainly like long-term. There can be some issues if you, uh, if you have some water inside of that and then you, uh, then you crank it open. Some of that water can affect some of the, uh, the valves and the functionality, but if you're trapped under a boulder underwater, I'd be willing to risk that. Um, but afterwards, I just take it straight to get a, a service basically uh, just to give it a, a good once over because you don't want water on the inside it can if it's left inside the hoses especially it can rot from the inside out uh, it can clog up valves and stuff and it is, your regulators just aren't going to act um, sort of properly but uh, but yeah it, it certainly can be done the one thing is is that it's going to take some time especially if it's on DIN. Uh, this is a DIN 232 valve. If you do it on a DIN 300 valve, you've got two extra threads. Um, so if I do that up tight <clears throat> and then do my best, if you start a countdown timer now, let's see how long it takes me to actually remove and then replace it. So go. not too bad uh, you could certainly do that on a um, uh, on a single breath if you were if you're practicing and uh, and you had a decent breath to uh, to like prepare yourself but yeah especially on din it's going to take a little bit longer it'll probably be quicker on a clamp because that's usually you only need a couple screw threads to um, uh, to release it um, but yeah the main point is that I'm not going to do that so you don't get the squeaking effect um, the main point is that if you remove it, you're exposing the inlet to the surrounding water. So water is gonna get into the first stage, which is not great for the first stage. As I said, in emergency, it should be fine. Uh, by the time that it's like pressurized and then it's found its way through the hoses and whatnot, you might find that it affects your submersible pressure gauge in a little way. Um, by the time that it reaches your, um, uh, your second stage, it's chance, depending on the design, it might like cause the uh, the second stage to free flow or something um, because they're designed to work with air instead of liquids 
But one feature that you do find on some uh, first stage designs is a kind of a stopper, a spring loaded stopper inside of that inlet. So as soon as it's depressurized, it basically blocks the inlet to help prevent moisture going in. There's always gonna be some because when you attach it onto the, um, the valve, there's always gonna be some water, a small amount of water that's gonna find its way in. So they're never gonna be impervious to water getting in, uh, but yeah, in an emergency situation like that, in the unlikely events that a boulder should trap you underwater, yeah, you can totally um, swap them over. It's, um, it's not something that I'd recommend. Um, yeah just like practicing um i wouldn't recommend it um but yeah i i knew a guy he was a uh, american military um one of their divers and he used to do it all the time he was just yeah whatever um it's it, it certainly can be done regulators are surprisingly tough uh, i wouldn't recommend it for like doing it on your um, your own regulators because you can damage them but yeah, it can certainly be done. Yeah, when I saw the question, I uh, I, I quickly checked it out, the, um, uh, the film The Dive, and um, I, I, I scanned through it to uh, to try and find that uh, that one scene so that I could see that and didn't have to watch the entire film uh, before filming this. But yeah, from what I could tell, the, whoever was like the, the diver in charge and the, uh, the divers on the screen, they kind of knew what they were doing. Uh, I saw pretty good... Um, uh, like procedures about equipment removal and all that kind of stuff. They had their full face mask as well that they had to deal with. Uh, so removal of, and replace and all that kind of stuff is, is tough with a, a full face mask because you do without your uh, your eyes and your, um, uh, your breathing at the same time. So you have to secure your half mask to be able to see whilst breathing. And um, yeah, no, they, they did a decent job. I think I saw one mistake, which was their um, their low pressure inflator hose was um, basically trapped in one of their, um, uh, their shoulder D-rings. Not the end of the world, it just means that you can't lift up your inflator. Um, that may just have been the angle that I saw it at, but yeah, my instructor brain just went, that's wrong, um, and their uh, their sheer water Terek, um, like, that's not the Terek screen. Um, and yeah, the poor girl, I saw her when she shot up to the surface, um, she didn't want to miss a boat uh, of something. Again, I've not seen the um, uh, the film and mild spoiler alerts, uh, but she misses some uh, some deco to uh, to shoot up to the surface. And, um, and she's like, how much deco? They're, they're talking through underwater communications and she she's, from what I gather, the, the less experienced diver, they're talking and um, and she's going back to the surface whilst the experienced diver is trapped underwater. And um, and she says, oh, how much deco do I need whilst looking at her dive computer? It's like, well, it'll be written on the screen. And the, the girl says, um, uh, the experienced diver says, oh, uh, at least five minutes. Like, okay, at what depth? And where did you pull five minutes from? But whatever. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, yes, you certainly can remove and replace your, your regulator underwater. I wouldn't recommend it unless it is an, an emergency though. Um, yeah, it, regulators are pretty tough and I'd get them serviced uh, after before your next dive just to uh, double check and yeah, check those hoses. Try and run some uh, some fresh air through just to make sure they're completely dry through the inside. Uh, but yeah, definitely get it serviced. I mentioned that it's been depressurized underwater and there's probably gonna be water on the inside. And I've seen some horrible things inside of some regulators that clearly have had some moisture inside. Um, but yeah, any other questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use this AskSmart hashtag to get featured in an up and coming video. Uh, otherwise, remember to check out our website, schooldivermag.com, all the cool things that we do over there. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.